Welcome back. Today we're diving into the world of money, how to determine the value of a collection of coins and bills. Let's get started. In real life, we use money, both coins and bills, to buy things we need, like food, toys, or even fun activities. When you go to a store, the cashier tells you how much you need to pay, and you give them the right amount of money. But how do you know if the money you have is enough? Before we get started with examples, let's take a look at the value of some common bills and coins. Let's start with the bills. A $1 bill is worth $1. A $5 bill is worth $5. A $10 bill is worth $10. And a $20 bill is worth $20. Now, let's look at the coins. A penny is worth one cent. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth 10 cents. And a quarter is worth 25 cents. Knowing the value of these bills and coins is important because it helps us add them up correctly when we need to figure out how much money we have or how much we need to pay. Imagine you're at a birthday party and your friend gives you some birthday money. You were given a $5 bill, three $1 bills, one quarter, and two dimes. Let's figure out how much money you have. A $5 bill is worth $5. Three $1 bills are worth $3. One quarter is worth 25 cents, and two dimes are worth 20 cents. Now, let's add it all together. $5 plus $3 plus 25 cents plus 20 cents equals $8.45. When you add coins and bills, make sure to line up the decimal point to keep your dollars and cents in the right places. It helps you see clearly how much money you have. So you have $8.45. Now you know how much your friend gave you. Let's say you're at a store and you want to buy a toy that costs $5.86. You have the following. One $5 bill. Two quarters. Three dimes. One nickel and one penny. Let's see how much money you have. A $5 bill is worth $5. Two quarters are worth 50 cents. Three dimes are worth 30 cents. One nickel is worth 5 cents, and one penny is worth 1 cent. Now, add it all up. $5 plus 50 cents plus 30 cents plus 5 cents plus 1 cent equals $5.86. Remember to line up your decimals when you add it up. This helps you stay organized and make sure you get the right amount. You have $5.86, which is exactly enough to buy the toy. So remember, when you're figuring out the value of your coins and bills, it's important to line up the decimal points when adding them up. Start with the bigger bills, then add your coins, and always check if you have enough money to buy what you need. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay curious and stay fresh.